first thing that comes to mind is the amount of community I felt in like the, the the vastness of the Prescott College community. Like I think the first village life there was probably like 30 dancers there and then and then the drummers too. So it actually it was technically only a drum class in the beginning. And um I came in and I talked to Liz and I was like, why is there no dance class? I'm like freaking out here. And she was like, take West African inspired drum and we'll like make sure, like they'll be, we'll make sure there's some sort of dance involved, whether that be village life or whatnot. So I think having the drum class is really what like, what inspired the village life to start up so strongly because we already had this group of nine or something um, drummers who were just there. And that was like a foundation for, um, and it kind of like, yeah, the, the core of the drummers that would be there um, every week. And so that was really awesome. We circle as a drum, the drummers that come and that are in the community and students. We teach specific rhythms. And then after we go through rhythms with the drums, the dancers come in. And that's an opportunity for them to learn specific rhythms for our drumming. After they're done, we form a circle and we have a community uh, jam where dancers are allowed to come to the circles center. We communicate through the drums and dancing. So basically it's a warm up for drums to drum for the dancers. They're actually doing a lot of research now to show how rhythm is therapeutic. And our hearts actually come into entrainment with the drum. So what you'll see happen at an event with African or African inspired drumming and dancing is that people just increasingly get lighter and lighter and happier and in love. Love just fills up the space. But especially this semester, I've been introspective. I've, I've had a lot of reflection time because um, a lot of things happening in my life and our family friend's life that this has given me a space to reset most, most of my of my problems, turn them into issues, turn them into projects. For me personally, I needed healing around coming alive from a contracted place. And so this music was the best therapy that ever happened. I've been in therapy for many, many years, and it was like, did it, did it, did it, did it, did it. And this kind of helped to augment what was really actually helping me, which is being physical, with the dancing, the drumming, the even talking, even walking, of walking and not apologizing for existence. And he comes from the Ivory Coast, which is this like triangle of West African music that's all related but separated by culture. And he came in, told us, and related to us about where he comes from, what we're doing. And he was so amazing. He just brings so much energy, and it's in his whole body, the dancing and the drumming, which is different. You're just not going to get that from someone from the States who is not like native to that kind of or it's that, that's not their culture. And so that was a really, really important piece to have. And without the culture behind, the storytelling behind the music, and the people that made it what it is, then you have nothing. You know, this is West African inspired drumming. It's not West African drumming. When I went to Africa and when I dance with Africans, I am different. I dance differently. I, my body responds differently. I'm from a whole different culture. But I am not in a position to really know the history of this music. Because I only know that in which I've absorbed, which is so tiny. I mean, that tininess is big enough to, to help create great things, but it's still not enough to know about the culture itself. I just, I guess I'm just like, to reiterate how impact how much impact village life and that class made on me it it made me want to stay at Prescott College and having that access to the performing arts and the dance music and just that community and see how see how strong that really is um, was so huge for me last semester 